In an earlier video, we discovered the relationship for cos A plus B being cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Now, what happens if A and B are equal? Let's call them X. Then we end up with cos 2X equaling cos X cos x minus sine x sine x that's cos squared x minus sine squared x this is one of our ratios for double angle okay now we can use cos squared plus sine squared equaling 1 to obtain two other relationships as well. So let's say instead of cos squared, I'm going to substitute 1 minus sine squared. So my new relationship becomes 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared which results in 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Another substitution could be that we keep our cos squared but we replace our sine squared with 1 minus cos squared. So because of the negative, that becomes negative 1 plus cos squared. So the result is 2 cos squared x minus 1. So in summary, we ended up with three relationships for cos 2x. At the basic level, cos squared x minus sine squared x. Substituting for cos squared resulted in 1 minus 2 sine squared. And substituting for sine squared resulted in 2 cos squared minus 1. So there are our first three. I'm going to put that in a box that we need to know. Now we're going to look at a similar process. But this time, we're going to start with sine A plus B. So if you recall, sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. But again, what happens if A and B are equal, let's call them X, then I end up with sine 2X <coughs> equaling sine X cos X plus cos X sine X. In other words, we have sine 2x equaling 2 sine x cos x. Going to put that in the box as well. That's our relationship for sine. Lastly, we're going to look at tan. So our relationship for tan A plus B <coughs> was tan A plus tan B all over 1 minus tan A tan B. So again, we're going to look at a situation where a equals b 
equals x. So we end up with the result of tan 2x equals tan x plus tan x all over 1 minus tan x times tan x or tan 2x equals 2 tan x all over 1 minus tan squared x. So they are our double angle relationships. They come up in multiple places across different areas of mathematics, especially very useful in extension to work that we'll do later on.